Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today we're going to be looking at a highly requested video on the item the Iron Guard contract and how to use it properly with your team in the jungle. Now learning the Iron Guard is important because it's almost a mandatory item for your team to be successful. The three main topics in today's video we are going to cover are what the Iron Contract does and how it works, how to properly incorporate it and use it with your team, and I will also take a look at the benefits of the Iron Guard. The Iron Guard contract is a great way to allow double jungling to work so both heroes are able to get enough gold. This is possible because the Iron Guard's passive grants 20 gold after taking 5 hits from minions slash monsters to the person who bought the Iron Guard with a 10 second cooldown. Also, when your ally kills a minion or a monster, you get 30% of what they received as bonus gold. As you can see, with the Iron Guard's passive and the bonus gold you receive, the Iron Guard is a great way to help get a gold farm. Now we know how the Iron Guard works, let's take a look at how to use it properly and incorporate it successfully into a team. For a typical team comp, let's say your laner or carry is a pedal, your jungler is cruel, and you are the support slash tank is Arden. In almost every case, I suggest it's a great idea for the tank slash support player to buy the Iron Guard for the reason as they aren't the ones who need to get the expensive damage items to kill the enemy team. Another note that I highly suggest is never having more than one Iron Guard per team, because otherwise your team may suffer early on from lack of damage and health in fights, since the Iron Guard doesn't really offer any stats for fighting. A great tip to ensure that your team doesn't have multiple Iron Guards in solo queue is to wait a little bit at the shop before the match starts and see what items your team buys first. Now the correct way to use the Iron Guard so both you and your teammate can get enough gold is to allow the person who bought the Iron Guard to attack first when engaging on the minion camps, so they receive the hits from the minions. Then you allow the hero without the Iron Guard to get the last hit on the minions so they can get their gold as well. As being shown is a proper way to clear your jungle camps so the person with the Iron Guard and the person without can both get enough gold. Another important note to mention is that if the person with the Iron Guard contract is low on health, do not be afraid to give him one of the regen minions so he does not die out. Now that we looked at what the Iron Guard does and how to use it properly, I want to give some final thoughts and talk about the benefits of the Iron Guard. As I stated earlier, I suggest the tank slash support player gets the Iron Guard because they typically have more health and can take the minion hits better, and also because since the tanks are usually ones controlling team fights, it's a, it's a good idea to buy the Iron Guard because it's on the same buy path as the Warhorn, which is an awesome item for your team as it allows you to escape and even catch up to enemies. The benefit of the Iron Guard is quite apparent as it allows you to double jungle efficiently and still have both heroes being able to get enough gold, which is great because your team will be balanced and everyone will be able to purchase items. I hope you guys learned how to use this important item today and the benefits of the Iron Guard if used properly. If there is another topic you want me to go more in depth on in the next episode, make sure to let me know in the comments. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe for more Vainglory videos if you have not already. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night. And I'll see you guys later.